Okay, here's my last song. It's another song with an egg matter kind of, kind of thing to it. Uh, so, who cares? But uh, I've been told by people, don't play songs with similar tune tonology or tunes. I can never make sense of it. Don't play songs in the same tuning in the same key. Because it bores people to death. No. What? <laughs> I listen, I listen, I try to listen to advice, you know, because I need it. I need so much of it, you know? It's like... mm. How was your honeymoon? Both. I'm in the middle of a very dark emotional set, you know. <laughs> no, I, I, love, I love my man. Come on. <laughs> no, save my fucking life, you know. I tell you what, if it wasn't for this man that I, I'm, I'm with for the last ten years, I, I uh, uh, when I'm in San Francisco, uh, a friend lets me stay in the, in the basement of their of their uh, warehouse space. And it's a tiny little room with no windows. And if I hadn't met this man, I'd probably still be in there surrounded by piss balls and, <laughs> and darkness. Um, and if that's, if that's not a reason to get married. Yeah, and this, and this fucker, every time we got in polite conversation, you know, we're with fancy people, mostly his friends, because my friends are not fancy at all. And, uh, you know, he's always like, oh my god, this one with the piss bottles, let me tell you. <laughs> Must we? <laughs> anyway, you know, sometimes you don't want to leave your room for a couple days, you know? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with that. I once had a roommate, and I drove her, I drove her crazy, because I would never leave the room. I would, I would creep out the pee. Oh. Sometimes. <laughs> I was a good roommate. I paid my rent. They were vegans. I cooked meat in the dishes. <laughs> Not on purpose, just because why are we so serious? <laughs> I just, no, I don't need it. I, no, of course. I'm, it's not a slam against vegans. I'm mostly a vegan. I mean, at all. I mean, it's just, I was, I was an asshole. <laughs> so I want to finish on a high note. <laughs> okay, I don't have one really. So, okay, so I'll just do this one and then we're, then we're good. Um, if you want to see something patriotic, well, I know this stupid. He don't look that good, but he has an all-American smile that fills his underwear with all the lonely dollars from all the lonely men who no one ever suffers. Bar, spending all their lonely hours. They're not afraid. They're not running for cover. The farther you run away, the more you have to hide in the dark. Why does the worm that crawls in the patriot's heart? And it was so red, white, and blue the way he worked the bar. sin in their eyes and he always says the same thing he says he says how you doing baby on your rod and your staff and for a tip you could touch me and after a few tequilas well I become something holy and this shitty little bar with its sweating mirrors 
and it's melted ceiling is more full of love, yeah, than even natural selection. A dollar for a dollar, babe, it's a better bargain. The more you pay, the more you can see it all fall apart. And dollars pour like ashes from the Patriots' heart. And he knows your good time will kill him. But the thought of getting old, well, it doesn't thrill him. He says, give me all your money and don't tell me what you're thinking. I'm the past you wasted. I'm the future you're obliterating. Oh, come on, Grandpa. Remind me what we're celebrating. That your heart finally tried up. Oh, that it finally stopped working. I know, I know, I know how to make a dead man come. I know all the undertaker's eyes. I could make your eyes shine. Like the alcohol that preserves the patriot's heart. So give me some of your patriot's heart. Open it up and give it the patriot's heart. George Washington's his head is in a spin. He's happy to pass out again. He would rather fade into the static than hear the violins that whine like old lovers who whine that they love him. He would rather. Patriot's heart We all want some